Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really stick red bean bun. So I will, and here I'm just going to go through every material that we need. But I also will leave a list in the description box below so you can check it out. Let's get started. So for the first thing I'm going to need is some glaze. The glaze that I'm using for today is called P. I'll press the plate. Some decoration. So I'm using the sesame. A measuring spoon so the this one is 2.5 ml a toothbrush some brushes a dotting tool a needle tool a tweezer some chalk pastel, so the one they are using is brown sina and also the yellow ochre. Air dry clay, so I'm using the red color, brown and also the tan color. So for the first thing I'm going to do is to take out the clay and then measure out the amount that we want using the measuring spoon. Then you're gonna roll it into a bowl using the presser plate so it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. Then you're gonna make the texture using toothbrush. So at the point you also can shape it into a dome shape and then you have to make sure that every place have the texture like it's everywhere. Then take your needle tool and then just find a way that like a place that you're not happy with and then just sketch out the place like a bit in part. So I'm choosing here and just gonna sketch it out like this. Just gonna poke a bit so it'll be obvious. Then take our dotting tool and press everything in. So you have to make sure it's a little bit inside so it can fit our filling. And I'm using a bigger one so it will be more easy and time saving so like this now I'm just gonna start making our filling for the filling i'm taking the red color clay and also the brown color we're gonna make it like a bit of red velvet color but a bit darker it's kind of like a mid color so just keep mixing until you have the color that you like Then you're just gonna put the clay inside the part that we have put so it should look like this. Then you're gonna give a texture using the toothbrush like a mid texture. Then you also can use a needle tool so these two combined together will have a better and more realistic kind of texture. Okay, so now it's dry for the um um the inner side here. So now we're just gonna start our shading. Shading, I'm using my chalk pastel for the brown sina and also a yellow ochre, and also my brush. So we're just gonna start out with the light color first. Then we're gonna do the the brow sina one, but we're just gonna do that a little bit on the up the on the top here. Okay, so now you can see it should look like this. So for the upper part, it's gonna be a little bit dark, and now we're just gonna start putting the sesame, and the sesame here it's I made by myself. So maybe I will make a tutorial on that so here is the sesame that I'm using this one and 
to let the sesame stick on the part on the top here you're gonna need some a sculpey and also a brush so instead of using glue i would recommend you guys to use like a glaze and here i'm also using a um tweezer okay so first you're gonna do is to take your brush and put a little bit just a tiny little bit of the glaze up here then you're gonna take your tweezer and pick the sesame so i have three um, color available here which is the tan color um like kind of yellowish or tan color and also white color and like black sesame so i will prefer to use black sesame for this tutorial and here i'm just gonna put three sesame on here then you can just put whatever, how much you want you actually so So you can put it like a three part like this. Now you just gonna cover this with some glaze. So you just gonna cover the sesame with some glaze. So now you're just gonna like dry first only we can cover everything with our glaze. So now it's dry already and it should look like this. So now I've covered everything with the glaze so it should look like this using the brushes and also my scalpel. Koyoi mo tsujo dewa kirei na mai.